Yeah, we feel really fortunate to win that game. Uh, Minnesota, they, they pressured us like we haven't been pressured all year long. Um, I think that was fairly obvious. We turned it over 21 times, but besides the turnovers, you know, we couldn't get into anything we were running. Um, and we were making stuff up on the fly in the second half to try to get some looks. And, uh, you know, our, our players did a tremendous job of, of doing some things out of structure. Uh, you know, hit some big shots at big times. I know Rachel hit two monster threes in the corner. I think Rihanna uh, hit a big three at the top of the key. Um, but, you know, we just made big plays at crucial times. I didn't feel like we played well at all. And you got to credit almost entirely that to, to their team and, and their defensive pressure. Uh, their offensive execution was really good. They got it. We talked about front in the post, and, and we didn't get it done a bunch of times, and they were able to score in the paint. Uh, fairly routinely, um, you know, they're a terrific team, and we just feel fortunate to get out of there with a win. Questions for coach or players? Laura, if you could talk a little bit about the, the, the defensive kind of matchups. I know the last few games, you, there's always certain players you key in on, but if I'm not mistaken, uh, nine different players had points in the first half of them, and it seemed just really tough to, to guard. They were spreading you out a lot thinner than, your, than you've been, had to go the last few games. Talk a little bit about uh, what they've changed into that. We knew the personnel was a little bit tougher than Washburn, but we had a lot of people like Rihanna and Rachel step up and make good defensive plays, and then we got the, we got the rebounds and it kept us going. Jory, when, uh, when Rachel got those two consecutive threes right in front of the bench, were you having any, were you either of you having flashbacks to the national championship? Because that seemed like about the same situation almost as they came in. No, I mean, that's, that's just action that we run. And I think Jocelyn might have thrown it to her both times, maybe. That's, those guys have hooked up on that. They're seniors. They probably hooked up on that play 50 times uh, in their four-year career, I would guess. I don't know how many threes Rachel has in her career, but 50 of them are off that um, baseline release action. Uh, you know, that was our – we could barely, really only make one pass. Uh, we couldn't make the next pass after we entered the ball. Um, and, you know, we decided we had to probably try to put it on the deck and, and make plays and make them rotate and see if we could get some, some uh, you know, inside-out threes off penetration because we sure couldn't get it into the post very easy and we couldn't get the ball moved side to side. And Rihanna's played such good defense the uh, last few, uh, <coughs> last several weeks. So how did you have to make changes or how did you guys adjust uh, after, you know, she fouled out there at the, at the three-point line with about a minute and a half, a little over a minute and a half left? I would just – put in Haley and ask her to do the same thing. Um, you know, if we didn't believe in Haley, we wouldn't put her out there. So, um, you know, she came in and did a good job uh, defensively. You know, their action, their offense, that flex motion, I'm not sure what they call it, but uh, that allows everybody to get involved. Um, and, you know, that's why in the first half they had nine different people score. I think first half of it had some transition points, and maybe it didn't count as transition points in the stat sheet, but I felt like they were pushing it down our throat pretty good and getting some early looks in the possession uh, because they were getting it down so fast. Um, but, you know, that, that action allows everybody to get some looks, and you can ISO whoever you want on the block, and, and they were taking it to us. Anything else? Uh, Coach, you obviously haven't had a chance to get to watch film yet, but uh, can you kind of give us an idea of what you're expecting to see Monday out of Opponent. Uh, you know, I have. I've watched them briefly on the first day uh, and briefly tonight, but really wasn't paying that close attention yet. Uh, you know, we'll watch film tonight and uh, try to get a feel for those guys and prepare for them tomorrow. I'm assuming they're going to be probably very similar to Minnesota State, just fundamentally sound. Um, they've got players everywhere, uh, well balanced on offense, inside and out. Um, and, and they get after you, too. I've noticed that, that they do pressure the ball. Uh, you know, so that's something we're going to have to handle better uh, on Monday night than we did today. And uh, how important do you think tomorrow will be for rest, just getting rest? Well, they need it. I mean, I don't know. These guys played about 40 minutes a game last week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, in our conference tournament. And I know they're looking forward to the day off tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, this, I don't know. I keep, these guys are 18 to 22. And you can go all day when you're 18 to 22. You, you, you know, a couple hours and you're ready to go again. Rachel, do you feel like uh, Mankato, uh, did, which, the way you guys planned for them, they, they stuck to what uh, you were expecting out of them, or were the, was it a different look that you guys maybe were anticipating? Um, we knew they were going to pressure the ball like they did. 
Uh, maybe not. We weren't expecting it that much, and we weren't really ready for it, obviously. But they stuck to it with their high-low action and guards posting and stuff like that. Uh, Coach, can you just talk about you know the team effort? I mean, I know we talked about it before, but it seemed like you had a number of different girls step up when you needed to and make shots. I mean, everybody seemed like they had a key play tonight. They did, and, and I, you know, I've said this um, before. We just feel balanced, at least our ability to score. You know, I thought Jocelyn made a couple really big plays uh, in a row out there, and uh, you know, remade shots uh, in the second half. I think she was maybe 0 for three at, in, at the half and finished uh, five for eight and three for six from the three point line in the second half. I mean, those are monster plays in a short amount of time. Um, I know she had a corner three, and that three at the top were both big ones. Uh, you know, Laura's done what she did all year long. You know, I, I like, I'm glad she got nine rebounds. Um, but she shot the ball like that, and Rachel shot the ball like that. And, you know, we feel like we can get those opportunities. Right now, those guys feel good about making shots, I'm assuming. Um, and, you know, I have confidence in them. It seemed like they did a pretty good job on Marissa. Were you happy with the way your guards were able to still find a way to, you know, get good looks? Yeah. Um, well, no, no, we didn't get as good of looks as we wanted to. Like I said, you know, we had to do some things on the fly that weren't really within, you know, our package of things. Um, you know, Marissa was in and out of foul trouble. It's hard to get in rhythm when uh, you got to be yanked out after you get a foul. Um, and it, it was just a tough ball game in that respect, um, trying to get in the rhythm uh, for her. I thought she was fine. She didn't finish very good. Um, you know, I think she was pretty juiced up to start the game, and she missed a couple gimmies at the beginning, but I think she was just a little overexcited to get going. One more question. And, Coach, just talk about um, the turnout and the fans. Like, you guys are considered a visiting team, you know, you're a lot closer, but just talk about, you know, what uh, that's, 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 that's why Employee State's special. I mean, those guys, you know, the baseball team is here. They played today. I think they was Steve Washburn. Okay. okay, that's good. <laughs> um, and, you know, it's a great turnout. We get a great following. Um, we love those guys. It's so much fun to play in front of them. It's fun to walk out there and have those guys cheering for you. Um, you know, we feel like it's a special place, and our players really enjoy that. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Larry. Thank you.